Hello, everyone, and welcome to another School Nutrition Masterminds Meetup. It is our special election edition, our election series. Um, and we are joined this evening with Sharon Glosson, which Sharon, you and I met virtually back with like an SNA project a while ago. So it's so good to see you again. Um, so uh, if you are new to Mastermind Meetups, um, this is your chance to ask your questions to the candidates. We have almost every single election candidate has been a guest so far, which is really great. Um, but this is your chance to chime in, ask questions. Um, and with that, we'll get started. Sharon, welcome. And um, if you'd like to get us started, with, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your district. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Liz. I am Sharon Glosson, and I'm here at Northeast Independent School District in San Antonio, Texas. And Northeast is actually a, uh, a rather large district in San Antonio. We have 68 schools and roughly 60,000 students. Um, and we think we're in the best city in the nation and the place where everybody wants to come to conference and, and come to visit. So thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. Now that you say that, I'm remembering you had some national um, news coverage when COVID first hit, didn't you? Yes. We, we've been You're blessed with a lot of people wanting to come and see what's going on in our district. Yeah. You, cause you were doing like home deliveries, right? Yes. So we were doing whatever it took to get the meals to our kids during COVID. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, I'm going to run through my questions that I've had for all of our candidates so far, but again, please comment with your questions. We see Heather McLean Perry's watching. Hey, Heather. Um, and I think I saw Maureen Pasonics on as well. So welcome ladies. Um, so let's start Sharon. Um, what position are you running for in the 2023 election? So I'm running for the leadership development committee to represent the Southwest region. Okay. So this is um, a little unique. A lot of the guests we've had so far have been um, running for that at-large director pos director positions. So um, so you have, you're one of the people that is running for a regional spot. What states um, can vote for you? <laughs> so that's a good question. Um, and so it's Arizona, Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Utah are in the Southwest region. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So if you're at those states, definitely, you know, pay attention. Um, we also um, had an, a mastermind meetup previously um, with the same, uh, um, with Kristen Neal, who's running for the same position. So definitely watch those um, because you're one of the few states that get to um, vote with, for a regional representative. So, um, uh, okay. So um, I love asking this question because everybody has just take has such a unique career path to get to where they are right now. I've been learning so much the last week. So um, what led you to this point today where, especially where you're saying I'm ready to run for a national um, position or a regional position um, on the, um, for the national SNA? Well, I did get involved right away at the encouragement of several mentors, you know, one of them being former president of SNA, Beth Wallace, and other former uh, leaders that really encouraged you to get involved right away and get connected. And, you know, that started just in my region of Texas. We have, you know, local association. And then eventually that led to being involved at the state level, which I finished being president of the Texas SNA Association last year. And so, you know, learning and meeting people and finding out how associations work and, and how you can get involved. And I felt like this was the next step, again, just to get involved on the committee level of SNA. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to double check. Okay, I was double checking our audio. I apologize, Jessica Gould was our guest two days ago and our audio, we had an audio issue. So I was just double checking for you, Sharon, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so um, as I was like preparing everybody's, um, you know, these, these mastermind meetups, I saw, you know, everybody has their list and then you already touched on some of those um, positions you've held is like this long list of, of, you know, committees you've served on or chaired. Um, so it's, everybody has quite a really impressive resume. So out of all those positions you've held, what is your, um, what are you most, which one are you most proud of? Well, I think coming into our state association as vice president before COVID started and then serving on the, you know, the board during COVID and 
seeing our association and how we could adapt, how we could adjust to meet our members' needs. I learned a lot from the leaders who were in front of me in the state association, from our headquarters staff of our state association. And so I was just really proud of how we were able to come together during a really difficult time where you weren't able to have live events and you weren't able to connect directly with members and everyone was struggling with surviving on a daily basis and how we could provide the resources that they needed and also um, be able to keep people networking and, and learning best practices. So it was, it was a great accomplishment that we just kept the association going during that time financially uh, sustained it because we did have paid staff in Texas at our association. So we really had those employees to take care of as a board. Um, we weren't, it wasn't just volunteers doing all these activities. So I was really proud of the group that I served with. And um, I'm, you know, I'm just feel like we did a great job with the little resources that we had. You're reminding me of, um, I was talking to um, Reggie Ross, who was national SNA president during COVID time. And he did just like you did. He was like, well, during my presidency, we got to do X, Y, Z and all of the unique things he got to do, you know, finding that silver lining and just making it a positive. So um, totally, uh, I understand completely. And Mike Burke's watching. He says, hi, Liz and Sharon. Hey, Mike. Mike is so funny. He's watched the replays or he's joined live when he could. So thanks, Mike. Um, so um, similar to like the positions that you've held, what's a project or an accomplishment that you've had in school nutrition um, that you're most proud of in your career? Well, that's really hard because uh, there's so many that at the time you think are just the best thing ever. But if I think back on it, I think all the, uh, the creative ways that before COVID, we were able to get out into our communities to fight food insecurity. Um, and so the thing that I just loved that we were able to do in our school district was starting a summer program where we took meals to kids in their neighborhoods on a mobile cafe where the kids could come in and being able to reach those kids that couldn't get to a traditional brick and mortar summer feeding site and talking to those families and the staff that worked on the bus um, and we were able to partner with our library services. And so we were checking out books as well as feeding kids. And so that was something that still sticks with me, even though it's been, you know, more than five years ago now. And we're, we're just so excited to get back to it this summer. Nice. Wonderful. Love to hear that. Um... So if you are watching, um, comment with your questions for Sharon. I saw Joe Pettit's also joined. Hey, Joe. Um, and uh, I just have a few more, a few questions left that I've um, asked all of our candidates. So um, we've, we hope that this has been a really like a casual, nice way to be able to like introduce yourself to those in the region that can vote for you. Um, so what's something that you'd like SNA members to know about you? Well, um, first of all, I'm just a normal person. So I'm a director, just like um, a lot of other SNA members, and, you know, we're all willing to get in there, to roll our sleeves up, to do whatever it takes to, uh, to get the meals to kids, whether that's washing dishes, cooking the food, serving the food, cashiering, or doing more administrative tasks. And so that's what, you know, I really try to pride myself on is anything I'm going to ask someone else to do, I, I'm definitely willing to do it myself. No, I, I appreciate that. Yep. I understand that as well. Um, so I had one question left for you. Um, so if anybody has any, just go ahead and chime in. Otherwise, um, my last question is, um, if elected at the end of your term, what do you hope to accomplish that will make people say, I'm so glad I voted for Sharon? Well, the biggest goal that I have at the end of the term would be to have someone from every state in the Southwest region on either a committee at the SNA level or on the ballot to run for a position, but to get every state within the Southwest region hooked in, connected in some way to SNA leadership to help make decisions that are going to affect the whole of SNA. And can you remind us, um, as we wrap up, um, you are running for Leader, so do the exact title because I know I'll mess it up. <laughs> leadership Development Committee. For the Southwest mm. region. And can you run through those states one more time that can vote for you? That's a good question. So it is 
Arizona, Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Utah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sharon. It's been great to see you again. It's been a little while uh, remotely. Um, so I hope to see you. At, are you headed to LAC next month? Oh, yes. And especially with the new proposed rule, we're, we're ready. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have all of our support for those that aren't able to be there in person. Um, yeah. Thanks for fighting the good fight. Um, well, so and, and even yeah. if you're at home, you're fighting the good fight because it doesn't matter if you're in D.C. or you're at home. You're reaching out to your legislator and you're talking to them wherever you are. Yeah. Are, are comments open or is it open for comments yes. now? It is open. Everybody get on there. <laughs> um so coming up, we have three more mastermind meetups scheduled tomorrow night and Friday night. I have the two candidates running for vice president tomorrow night is Stephanie Dillard with enterprise um, city schools. And um, Friday is Paula DeLuca from Wake County. And Monday we have Susan Maffei from Meriden public schools. Um, and then I figured I'd give everybody a break for Valentine's day and then election starts on the 15th. So, um, Thank you so much, Sharon. Everybody tune in. These meetups are at 8 p.m. Eastern, but the video lives on. You can watch these. I head back into the Mastermind Meetup group and you can watch from previous um, um, uh, candidates. So uh, thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs>